Next up, we have Caitlin Dickerson, class of 2011. As a member of the reporting team at National Public Radio, she was a recipient of a 2015 George Foster Peabody Award for her investigative work that uncovered race-based secret mustard gas testing on troops during World War II. And let's be honest, kind of, you shouldn't be testing mustard gas on troops. And if you got to keep it a secret, you're probably doing something you shouldn't be doing, right? Her reporting, so Caitlin's reporting led to congressional action, right? Now a reporter for the New York Times, Dickerson covers immigration issues. She also has been awarded with the Edward R. Murrow Award and was a finalist for the Livingston Award, which recognizes journalists under the age of 35. So we owe a great deal to Caitlin Dickerson for uncovering secret mustard gas testing that was racially based and therefore racially biased. So for your contribution to journalism, Caitlin, thank you deeply and greatly. From music to contemporary art, women have made an impact across multiple medias, multiple spectrums, multiple industries, which brings us to our next influential individual, Betty Saar, from the class of 62 at Cal State Long Beach. <clears throat> Not only was she an art teacher, but she was known as a legend in the contemporary art world for her visual storytelling and printmaking abilities. Sar was also part of the Black Arts Movement in the late 1970s, which challenged the notions, myths, perception, and stereotypes surrounding women and African Americans, right? She dedicated her life to not only teaching art, but taking it upon herself to create art, which changed and made people think further about how they understand race and how they interact with one another. So Betty Sar, for your contribution and dedication to challenging myths and stereotypes and making it so the world could see more than what they had already had in their minds on preconceived notion. Thank you so much. And I mean that personally, because I'm kind of a person of color and this would be my art. So I want to thank you deeply. Let's talk about sports. Allow me to introduce you to Fran Schaffner. Fran is known for pioneering the women's athletic program at Cal State Long Beach. She was a basketball and volleyball coach who not only coordinated competitions and the creation of the conferences for these competitions at Cal State Long Beach, but, which is impressive, this part, but she also led the Cal State Long Beach women's basketball team to 11, 11, double digit, 11, 11 consecutive conference titles and never had a losing season. I can think of multiple coaches, men, who have had losing seasons. It's normal, but she never had one, which is to say the least, impressive. From 1962 to 1970, she coached the women's volleyball team, finishing fourth in the national comp championships. She later moved on to serve as an associate director of athletics in 1984 to 1985. And Fran, I want to thank you because the athletic department at Cal St. Long Beach is known it has a name and without you i don't think that would be true so thank you for your contribution to women's athletics and sports as a whole we appreciate you hey i 
homies. So last but certainly not least, we're going to look at some leadership. So with that being said, allow me to introduce you to Laura L. Yeager, who in 2019 was promoted to commander of the National Guard 40th Infantry Division, which at the time consisted of 10,000 soldiers. This, this moment made her the first female to command a United States Infantry Division. Not only that, but prior to this, in 2017, she was named the first female commander of the Joint Task Force North at Fort Bliss, Texas. It's hard to be the first to do anything, but to do it twice and to do it well, that's impressive. She was also a member of CSULB's ROTC program where she received her commission as a second lieutenant in 1986. So Laura, thank you for your contribution to not only our men and women in our armed forces, but also in the in showing that women can be given roles of power and leadership and do them well. All right, homies, so that's it for this video. Um, real quick, if you like these videos, let me know in the, in the comment section. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, right? The more engagement we get, the busier Brandy and I will be pumping out these videos for you and the easier it makes it for us, right? So, yeah, y'all be safe, take care. See y'all next week, man. Hey, homies, so that wraps up this week's video of Influential Women. If you liked anything specifically that we talked about, love to hear about it in the comments below. If there's anyone you want us to check out, love to hear about it in the comments below. If you can think of a school that you think uh, has people we should look into or check out or discuss, let us know down below. If you like the video, obviously hit the like button. Maybe share it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you get notifications every time we go up. We'll be having videos going up every Wednesday and Friday. So, yeah. You know, take care. Be safe. Appreciate y'all. Peace.